Hey, what is it guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. Today, we are going to add some more information about this whole automatic wave system and also add a delay in between waves. So as you can tell up here, we now have numbers at the top of the screen. The first one saying which wave you're on and the second one saying how many enemies is there left to spawn. And then we also add something new as well. Whenever we kill this very last enemy, it is going to wait 5 seconds in between each wave. So should swap now, as you could tell we're now on wave 2. And there is 7 left enemies to spawn, 6, 5, 4 and so on, it just goes on like that. So guys without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we're gonna start by creating two new little pieces of UI. So inside of our game scene, in this scene, we are going to create two new texts at the very top of our screen. So these texts are going to tell us which wave we're on and also how many enemies is there left to spawn. And we're gonna try to do that fairly quickly. So over here on our 2D UI, we right click, we go under text, we create, this is going to be the um, current wave text. So current wave text. And we're just gonna anchor it at the very top of our canvas like this maybe give it a nice white color and about 20 in size so this is going to be a simple number no, nothing too complicated just say 0 for wave 0 and then 1 2 3 4 5 and it just goes up like that so that is going to be our current wave number now let me just see if I can make it a little bit bigger by increasing the height and here we go something of the sort and now we're going to duplicate this and move this new tag that we just duplicate next to it. This is going to be the enemies left to spawn text. It goes on the very, very right side here. And I'll also make sure it is in line with the right side. So something of the sort, you can give it a small margin if you wish as well. And now we've got these two numbers and we're going to go ahead and open up the game UI script and actually start updating these so we can actually have some kind of feedback um, whenever we do change wave because right now it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit stall we never really see the change so in our game UI we are going to need two new public texts for the current wave and also the um, enemies left to spawn here we go so let's go ahead and write those public text current wave text and also another public text enemies I can't type today <laughs> enemies left to spawn text and we are going to manually assign those um, by hand so basically we're going to find our game UI which is right here drag and drop our current wave text and also drag and drop our enemies left to spawn text in here. Now when it comes time to update, updating those, we are going to be updating it using a public function. So if I just collapse all of these and we go at the very end here, we're going to create two new function. So two new public function that are going to act as, um, well, just something that updates the text basically. So update current wave text and just below that, public void, update enemies left to spawn. Uh, you could type in text. And uh, in this one, I will send the amount, and that is because we don't really have access to this to this data from manager. So we don't really know how many enemies there is to spawn. So we're going to be calling this from some places that do know that information. Let's actually check. So um, in the update current wave text, all we're going to be saying is current wave text dot text is equal to game manager dot instance current wave dot to string. That's pretty much all we need to do. Now, as far as the update enemy left um, to spawn text, it's the same thing, but instead of actually finding something in the game manager dot instance, we simply do amount to string. And also make sure you change the current wave text for enemy left to spawn text. Alright, so that's pretty much all we need from the game UI. So, shall we close it? Yeah, let's actually close this. Now, the rest of this is going to be done 
inside of the game manager so we have the function they're working we're just never really calling them right now so let's go ahead and think about where exactly we could be calling them so we're gonna need to change our things a little bit our update is a little bit too messy for that kind of stuff and um, before we get started I will make you declare some more field up here so two new more fields first one being a public float last wave completed so we're gonna keep track of when exactly the wave is finished a and after that a public I mean private bool wave active to know if the wave is actually active or not so we're also going to use this um, episode to put a delay in between waves so say you're spawning all the 10 first enemy and then you wait five seconds once they're dead once every single enemy is dead you wait approximately five seconds and then you can start spawning the new wave after we change the current wave we're gonna do current wave I mean uh, game UI instance update current wave text let's head over to the update and actually start coding something else so um, we're really gonna be changing this one around because we're going to be tackling multiple wave last last time it was really just to uh, test this out what I'm going to have you do now is we are going to remove all of that and just quickly code it from scratch we're gonna start with a if wave active so if the wave is currently active do this if the wave is not currently active we'll do something else that's a fairly that's a fairly simple start uh, we're gonna declare it in C and C is going to be the count so to spawn dot count how many enemies is there left to spawn if C is bigger than zero that means there is at least one and we can actually do something there's also going to be a else statement to that so if there is um, no more enemies left to spawn and the wave is still active we're gonna do something here so we've got pretty much this thing laid down let's go ahead and write what we had a little bit prior to this before I deleted everything spawn information si is equal to do spawn at the index 0 then we do if time dot time minus last wave time is bigger than si dot, dot um, time if that's the case we do the spawning so we do spawn manager dot instance spawn enemy si dot type aside the difficulty once we're done we remove it from the list so to spawn dot remove si and now since we just spawn a new enemy the enemy left to spawn is going to be modified so we're going to do game ui dot instance update enemies left to spawn and we're going to say c minus one which is the actual count of how many enemies we have to spawn minus one and um I know we do a remove here but this value the C value was actually calculated before we did the remove so that's why I do a minus one down here all right so say we finish spawning everything and the wave is still active we are going to check is there any enemies left on the battleground that mean have we killed everything and if we did so let's just assume we did so if we did then we're going to say wave active is equal to false I mean the true and last wave completed is equal to time dot time oh sorry about that wave active is equal to false so if there is no more enemies left on the battleground that will mean okay the wave is actually finished we can say the last wave has been completed at that very moment and put that wave active to false which will in return um, whenever we call this update again it is going to start here wave active is not going to be equal to fall uh, to through so we're going to skip all of that code and actually enter this piece of code now instead of this piece of code this is the moment where the wave is finished so I'd like to, put, to actually uh, start some kind of timer and you know just put a, a something just after that put a certain delay in between the waves so I'll go ahead and just say if time dot time minus last wave completed is bigger than um you could say five so we wait five seconds after we kill the last enemy and once we did kill that enemy we do current wave plus plus generate spawn list with the current wave and game ui dot instance 
update current wave text like so now could we be putting this inside of a constant of course we could so let's take this and we're gonna go at the very top here do a private cons float whoops private cons float time in between wave is equal to five we're gonna take this put it back down wherever we were in our code and that is going to work I guess so um, we never actually set the wave active back to false oh and we never actually check if is there any enemies left in the battleground so which one should we do first? Let's actually check if there is any enemy left on the battleground. Now, the only person that can know if there is any enemies left on the battleground would be our spam manager because he's going to be the guy just taking care of, uh, well, knowing that kind of stuff, right? And uh, the way we're going to do it is if we just scroll down a little bit, there has to be some places where we do a... Um, okay, so I think we're going to be iterating through the pool and we're going to check if there is something that is actually alive. So quickly make a function down here. A public bool is any enemy active. And we're going to say return. So we're going to return in one go. We're going to do this on a single line. So return enemy pool dot find and try to find me a enemy. So I'll just call it X because I'm used to that. X is alive, and if that's the case, go ahead and return me that enemy, and um, yeah. If you do find something, this is not going to be equal to null, and it's going to return false. If you do find something, oh, sorry, if you don't find anything, this is going to equal to null, because you don't find anything that is alive, and this statement is going to be true, and yeah, basically that's going to work. <laughs> Let's go back in the game manager really quickly. Uh, we're going to change our if through for um, spell manager instance is any enemy alive or active. And that sounds all good. Now, um, like I said earlier, we never actually toggle this on. We need to put it somewhere in our code that the wave is actually active. And I'd like to do that instead of the generate spell list, I think. That wouldn't make sense. So at the very end of my generate spawn list, I will do wave active is equal to through. And uh, since I'm here, I'm also going to do a game UI dot instance update enemies left. Whoops. Update enemy left to spawn because we just filled our list, our two spawn list. So let's actually display that on our game UI as well. And let's see what kind of result we get in the game. We haven't tested this out, so. Let's see it in action. We go in the game, we go here. We get a no reference and that is from, let's see. All right, so my bad over here, we don't want the awake actually, we want the start. I was just being a little bit confused, so sorry about this. So I am in the game manager, put that on start and I've also noticed some little mistake I did really quickly is um, over here, I use last wave completed and I should be using it here as well. So what I'll do is take this, copy it down there. So time dot time minus last wave completed. Because I gotta be checking this with the time where the wave is completed and not the time where the wave is actually being spawned. And uh, those are my two errors that I've did because I am being really um, confused at the moment. Sorry about this. So we we don't have an error. Let me just clear that on play. And let's try this out once more. Hopefully we actually get some kind of thing here. So we are currently on wave one. And are we getting something? Now we're on wave two. And there is obviously something not working again. Okay, so after looking through a little bit of my game manager, I realized that in our generate spawn list, we do a two spawn that clear, but we never actually add anything to that spawn list. So our two spawn that count is always zero. Now in this for loop over here, this is where we should be saying to spawn dot add si and this way it should really work better now let's have a look at this in the game and hopefully this works properly now I'm sorry about the messy episode and um, as you could tell 8 enemies left to spawn 7, 6, 5 and it just keeps going like that every time we spawn a new enemy 
and this seems to be working perfectly fine so whenever we defeat the last enemy we should be um, having to wait five seconds so let's just start counting now two three four five and it goes on with the new round and as you could tell we get some more enemies and they just keep spawning like that now at the end of um, well actually on the wave three or wave four I think we should now start getting a little bit uh, bigger enemies maybe not bigger but you know they're gonna have more HP and more damage so let's have a look this is wave number two wave number three just started first enemy has still two hit point and um, let's just wait this out and like I said sorry about the messy episode it is because I actually deleted the footage of this one so I had to take it back up and then write the code back up to this point and just remember where exactly we were at that point in time so that's just a big mistake on my part and I am um, and I am sorry for that okay so wave number four people start having two HP and that is uh, what we like Alright guys, so thanks a lot for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you liked it. If you have any comment or question, please leave them in the comment section below, or if not, please subscribe for more tutorials like these. Thanks a lot for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one.